snakes don't just run out in the bush and strike at you and bite you on the legs or the face or anything they can get their teeth into just because you're there. They strike as a defensive mechanism. The only way that they can defend themselves from potential predators is to bite. And this one gets himself into an S hey, into an S position and has a bit of a strike. You can see he's already getting grumpy. Hey, hey, hey. Steady, mate. And he's only defending himself. He thinks that I want to eat him. And I've got to deal with some of the wildest snakes in the world. Worse than this one, some of them are highly venomous. Ooh, whack, straight at my face. And again, right. Why is it that right. snakes go straight mm. for my face? Actually... Ooh, they're defending themselves. Naughty I wouldn't snake. want to take a whack off this one. It's a green oh. viper. Hey, 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 hey. Scrub pipe. And this beak snake goes straight for my face. I wouldn't want to take a bite there. Oh, Tassie Tiger. Hey, source scale viper. Look at that. Naughty little snake. It's got me. Bummer. Unfortunate thing is, I can't remember if this snake's venomous or non-venomous. So I quickly get him off the road so he doesn't get run over and resort to a book. Slady Grey. When hunting leisure, if cornered or grasped, it responds by biting fearlessly and repeatedly. I've got good news, babe. It's non-venomous. <laughs> I've been catching snakes all my life. The most venomous snakes in the world are the ones that I've mostly been working with. In actual fact, when I was four years of age, I stuck my foot right on a common brown snake, the second most venomous snake in the world, pinned it until Dad came up and got it. By crikey, I got into a lot of trouble. But it wasn't nearly as dangerous as the Egyptian cobra you're about to have a look at. This thing went off the Richter scale. It was so ballistic, it was launching itself out of the tree, trying to sink its fangs into me. Crikey, it was dangerous. Really dangerous. I was just flat out keeping out of its way. Woo! One wild unit. This one is venomous. Highly venomous. Cobra. Africa's full of cobras. I go for my sunglasses. Until I can work out what species it is, I've got to protect my eyes in case it's a spitter. Ah, looking behind, I can tell it's an Egyptian cobra. They don't spit. They've got huge, great fangs and capable of a penetrating bite and a huge, toxic amount of venom, which would kill an adult human easily. They're known for their aggression and powerful venom. I can't believe how aggressive this one is. It's gone straight into a tree. I reckon that the large mammals that have tramped straight past it have stirred it up. And coming from a land of large mammals, one of the best places you could retreat would be in a tree. This is the Egyptian cobra, and they're notoriously aggressive. Very toxic venom. And I tell you what, this snake is grumpy. Might have something to do with all the, the game animals. I'm gonna see if I can get him out of there. I have never seen a snake more aggressive than this in my life. He flew straight at us. As I gently try and manipulate its thick body with a forked stick, it's then that I understand the potential danger of this snake. It is so aggressive, it is beside itself. It's just all throwing itself straight at me. Go that way, buddy. You can't come this way. You can't come this way. If I can get it on the ground, on the flat level ground, I've got a good chance. Now yeah, I'm in. You're all right, mate. You're all right. It means it's business. Snake is aggressive business. It's mouth open. This must be pretty typical for the Egyptian cobra. You're all right, mate. You're all right. You're all right, buddy. You're all right. You're okay. Settle down. You're all right, buddy. How's that for aggressive? 
He's a super aggressive snake. Crikey. I might just leave this guy on his own. He is so wired, so aggressive. Oh, a couple of biting strikes just to send me on my way. Ooh, she's murky. Real murky. I remember making this mistake once before and it was one of the most incredible shark experiences of my life. Unforgettable and scary. Man, I was sweating bullets. I went down, hit the bottom, come along, started going up like this big volcano under the water and here they are, giant silhouettes just hovering right above me and I had no idea of knowing what species of sharks they were. It's my job to keep an eye on Steve. If he pops up and needs help, I've got to be there for him. As I skim along the bottom in the murky depths, I hit the rock wall and start to ascend straight towards the most ominous silhouette I've ever seen. A shark. And it's not alone. There's more than one hovering right above me and I stick to the rock like an oyster, not game to get out wide enough because I've got no idea of knowing what species they are. All I know is they're big, real big, 10 foot plus. Look at this. Sharks conjure up fear. And I've got no idea of knowing what species they are. As I cruise in closer, throwing caution to the wind, I get to realise that they're... Grey Nurse. They're Grey Nurse sharks. They've got huge, great, penetrating teeth that jut right out. But they're harmless. They're fish eaters. Uh-oh, what's this? I can see another one, another big silhouette coming through the fish. Woo! It's a Grey Nurse too. I feel I'm surrounded by sharks. Do you see that? They seem like they're scared of my presence and as they come in, as they glide in close, they have a fear response, bang their tail and take off. Here comes another one. I've got to get in so close, the water is just too murky. Beautiful animal. I love my sharks. And these ones are big. They're almost 12 feet in length. Huge. Look at this one coming up through a gutter. Grey nurse sharks are now classified as an endangered species in Australia. And for good reason. People used to kill them ruthlessly, thinking they were a potentially man-eating shark. They're not. They're fish eaters. And my confidence starts to build, and I cruise in closer and closer for a better look. What started out as one of my most fearful moments has turned into the experience of a lifetime. A beautiful shark experience.